Hello everyone, kind of a meaty teaching today. We're going to Ephesians, the fourth chapter, beginning with verse 3. Ephesians 4, 3. So get your Bibles out, get a pen in your hand, get ready to mark up your Bible. That way if uh, someone else looks into your Bible, they will know that you've been there because you marked it up with your own hand. Lukewarm, good coffee. Ephesians 4, 3, King James 16, 11. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. This teaching is called unity unto unity. We want to find unity for the second time for a true witness. So let's read on. Unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body. One body. There is one Spirit. One Spirit. God is one Spirit holy. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Called and calling. One hope. Do you know your hope? Chapter and verse. Colossians one twenty seven. Verse 5. One Lord. One faith. Get ready to write. One baptism. Now write this. Washing inside Titus 3.5. One baptism, washing, inside, Titus 3, 5. And you're washed inside how? By the Spirit. Regeneration, renewing of the Holy Spirit. Washed inside, Spirit Word. Verse 6, this is very interesting. We're going to write over the top of and. We're going to write the L. One God, L Father. Right? King James says one God and Father. Right over the top of and, capital E, capital L, which is in, in Greek or in Spanish, L is the Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. The four alls for locked in major doctrine. Verse 7, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ, anointing, power, glory, light. Let me repeat that one. Gift of Christ, anointing, power, glory, light. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high and led captivity captive and gave gifts to men, now that he ascended for a true witness, second time ascended, By the way, I'm reading from one of my skinny books. This is Luke to the end of Hebrews. I scroll it. I put a black hair thing for ponytails. I find them when I'm riding my bike on the sidewalks and parking lots. Back to Ascended. Ascended up on high, verse 8. He ascended, verse 9. I'm reading verse 10. And he descended into the same also. Oh, he that descended, all right, came down. Is the same also that ascended up above, 
So we had ascended up on high in verse 8 and ascended up above in verse 10 for a true witness. And actually, it's major doctrine because you got ascended three times. Major point. Ascended, ascended, ascended to the right hand of zero father. Ooh, I got to tell you this one real quick, five minutes. There's a black preacher out there. He's been preaching a long time. I've seen him 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And he he had them all laughing, but he was serious. Ever heard of verse zero? I came in the other way with the windows and starting to count for astrophysics. Astrophysics goes to an 11th level of the 12th window and 11 is in the 12th window if you start counting with zero in the first window. Did you get that one? If you start counting correctly and go zero, one, two, three, four, five, up to 10, and then it goes 20, 21, up to 30, and 30, 31, but there's two zero and three zero and there's one zero and there's zero one the first window has the number zero in it and india invented the number zero with a dot god revealed to me the throne in glory with a zero on the back of it with a dot in the middle of it and that is in window one Zero. <laughs> the first window has zero with a dot in it. The second window has a one in it. So when you get to 12, you're in the 13th window. Think on that one. Sila. And God represents himself as a circle of life or a zero with a dot in it. That's why I have a dot over Y and I have a dot in all the zeros, like Lord, L-O-R-D, zero gets a dot in the middle of it. O gets a dot in the middle of it. And there's a dot over Y. Okay, and there's a dot over the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet too, which is V V V V V T. Oh, boy, I could run in that direction. Back to verse 10, 410 of Ephesians. He that descended is the same also. That's eight minutes. He that descended or came down is the same also that ascended up above, far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. That's all for the third time. Maybe more than that. But remember, we had... Four alls up in verse 6. Verse 11, back down to 11. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers. And that's what I get to claim. The Lord said, you can say, you are my servant teacher anointed. I will come with the Holy Spirit anointed, anointing when you teach or speak or sing. Those are promises that were given to me by the Lord. Verse 12, for the perfecting, and there's a T there for equipping. Perfecting, equipping, growth unto maturity. None of us are perfect. Only the Lord was perfect. Only God is perfect. So when you come to the word perfect, if it's not referring to the Lord Jesus Christ as a human vessel image man on earth, then you must choose maturity, fullness, or completeness to replace perfect. Because there are no perfect human beings on earth. There's only been one. That was the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. Okay for the perfecting, equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying or the building up of the body of Christ anointed. 
Here it is. This is the teaching. Unity unto unity. Till we all come to the unity a second time. We had unity up in 4.3. We have unity in 4.13. Threes. <laughs> Till we all come to the unity of the faith in. It's never faith alone anymore. It's faith in something. I got to write it in because I don't have it here. Faith in Christ anointing. Minimum faith you add in. Faith in. It's never faith alone anymore. Faith in and of the spiritual knowledge of the Son of God unto a, not a perfect man, unto a mature man, unto the measure, the stature, likeness of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children. Grow up. Get on the meat of the word. Paul told the Corinthians, you're babes on the milk of the word because there's envy, strife, and division among you. I could not teach you as spiritual in the unity of the spirit. Love you. Bye.